The controversy began in 2010, when the Michigan Tax Tribunal ruled this Target store in Novi should be valued as if it were out of business or a dark store. Six years later, it is still open, but the precedent established in Target v. Novi has allowed hundreds of big box stores in Michigan to significantly lower their property taxes using what has become known as the dark store theory. This theory extends far broader than dark stores. It extends to factories, it extends to residences. It's a theory that you can only value property for property tax purposes by reference to vacant properties. With dark stores, I think it got a lot of traction when we had a great recession. And all of a sudden you had vacant stores. However, the application of this theory in areas with stable economies does not make sense to many local officials. I know they just held their grand opening, their ribbon cutting. I know they just opened. I know you ran infrastructure there. I know you've got your police department already responding to the retail fraud complaints that are pouring in. I understand that there's traffic congestion. I understand that you you know, have to deliver other government services, but you need to tax that as if it's still vacant land because that wouldn't be fair to these poor big box corporate entities. Come on. Limita is the superintendent in Grand Blanc Township and served as the supervisor in Marquette Township when retailers began filing for lower taxes. You take a Lowe's in Marquette Township that costs $10 million with land and improvements and the Michigan Tax Tribunal rules that it's worth $3 million, you're basically saying that it's the same value as the dirt that it was built on. Um, that's a tough one to swallow. In the case of this Costco in Kalamazoo County, the value of dirt wasn't low enough. According to county records, Costco paid $5.5 million just for the land the store now occupies. And after it spent an additional $12 million to build a new store and parking lot, Costco appealed to the tax tribunal to have its true cash value lowered to $4 million. When the township of Oshtemo presented a legal challenge, Costco withdrew its appeal and settled for a true cash value of $8.75 million. Despite the objections from local units of government, the chief judge of the Michigan Tax Tribunal says he and his colleagues are simply following the law. Nobody's got a bias. Nobody's been told what to do. There's been some discussion uh, I've seen about that, that, you know, uh, some chair told everybody they had to write a certain way. That's never been the case as long as I've been involved in the tribunal. We look at each individual case and we try and apply whatever we get out of that case to the law. Lasher, who used to represent local governments before the tribunal, says the reason property owners are winning is simply because they can afford a better legal team. The real issue here is the inability of townships or municipalities to financially defend the assessments. And that's the real issue. There's a real um, inequity in the way um, uh, the financing of appeal defense really occurs.